at the Springer Mountain Trailhead. Heading out, I already got trail magic. This lady offered to watch my backpack for me. Georgia and Maine, a footpath for those who seek fellowship with the wilderness. First blaze. I made it to the top of Springer Mountain. It actually used to be called Penitentiary Mountain. I don't think there was ever a prison up here, but I think it probably comes from the word penitent, which I think is kind of poetic for maybe those who are seeking a little redemption. This would be the place to start. So this here is the Benton McKay Trail. That's 200 and something miles long. Oh my gosh. The Benton McKay Trail. Good golly. So Benton McKay was one of the founders of the Appalachian Trail. His wife actually committed suicide and he believed that nature could cure mental illness, which I'm sure it can to a certain degree, but I don't know if that was his driving force or not behind you know, how badly he wanted this trail made, but they say that Benton McKay was the dreamer of the trail, and then the doer was Myron Avery, and Myron Avery just got in and got stuff done, and he um, ruffled a lot of feathers, and him and Benton McKay butted heads all the time, because Benton McKay wanted it to be, you know, as much nature as possible, um, whereas Myron was like, let's just get it done. Like, who cares if there's, you know, roads and stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah, they didn't talk. They stopped talking for years and years just cause, um, Myron Avery was kind of regarded as, I don't want to say it, kind of a jerk. I didn't meet him, so maybe he wasn't, but anyways, um, yeah. So Myron is the one that really got it done. So I think that Benton had a great idea and Myron made it happen. So I think we needed both of them. I made it to Stover Creek Shelter. Um, it's only two, so I want to kind of keep hiking. I was hiking with a guy named Wetsuit. Him and his wife drove me up to the Springer Mountain Trailhead, which was really nice. I'm thinking about keep going though, it's really My first crossing, I'm up at Stover Creek still. Supposedly there's a bunch of virgin hemlock up here which means that it's old growth, but I haven't seen any. Send me a picture if you find it. I think this is the prettiest view on the whole Appalachian Trail. This is where the Stover Creek, Long Creek, and Chester Creek all converge here to make the Nuntutla Creek. I'm getting my water. Aaron said, grab, Aaron said grab the bubbly bits. I don't know why she said that, but this, I guess I'll do that. Because Aaron said. This diamond thing is really throwing me off. I'm pretty sure I'm on the trail. I turn around and I don't see any white blazes, but I don't see where else the trail could be, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm on a trail. I'm on the right trail. I guess it's just um, both. So I just got to Long Creek Falls and I'm doing what's called cameling up, where I drink a bunch of water as much as I can um, because there's not gonna be any water at where I'm gonna stay tonight, so. Um, anyways. Drops can actually go longer without water than camels. Well, I wasn't intending to spend my first night on the trail in a cemetery, but maybe it won't be so bad. Yeah, it looks like I'm the only one here, so, okay. They have a bathroom though, which is great. I guess I'll figure out where to set up my tent. I don't wanna 
Set it on top of anybody's Mima. Maybe over there. Hello? One and two third cups. It's the military. I did it. <laughs> the bears will never get this. <sighs> well, I'm sure raccoons can still get to it, but it is what it is. Oh, no. I was so terrified because oh, I don't know, I just saw the serial killer coming to get me or that man I saw earlier today. But guess what? It is two platoons of army rangers who are camping out here tonight. I feel so safe. I'm totally gonna just go to sleep. And hopefully there's girls with them. But anyways, I'm think it's I'm assuming those are their headlamps, but they're all coming in right now, so yay! <laughs>